Eh? What's up you guys, welcome back. Today I have the highly requested video of how I make Rocket's food. Rocket here is a French Bulldog. He is four years old, he will be five years old in June. And yeah, I cook all of his meals and I'm going to tell you about our journey. Recap on Rocket, so Rocket, came to us when he was maybe three months old and um, he was eating. We had him on this like wet food. It was puppy wet food, amazing brand, great brand, really good. Um, however, when we took him to the vet, they told us that he needed to get on kibble because he was a puppy and he needed to strength, strengthen his teeth. So we started him on some kibble food, but he would throw it up all the time and he would not be able to keep his food down. I like could tell like it all the time he was regurgitating and it was just really bad. His skin was also just not the greatest. He was overweight. And so we try to switch him out of the kibble food, we tried different type of food and nothing would do it. We took him to the doctor, we had a bunch of tests. In order for you to figure out if your dog is allergic to one single ingredient, for example, every time we would take him to the doctor, they would tell us, maybe he's allergic to beef, maybe he's allergic to chicken, maybe he's allergic to, you know, grains or whatever. You have to test for that one individual thing. And I'm sure there's tests that you can do for a bunch of them, but it was really expensive. So we were kind of like, what to do? A friend of ours suggested we make his food at home and it was the best thing we could do. We've never looked back ever since I started making his food at home. He is the absolute, like he stopped throwing up. His skin is amazing. Um, also his weight is perfect. He weighs about 28 pounds and mostly it's all just like muscle. I kid you not. It's, he is in the best shape. And even when we meet other French bulldogs, they're always a lot bigger than Rocket. Um, but Rocket, like he goes out, he runs around, um, he's super healthy and so I really think that the food at home just was the best thing we could do. Now it is exhausting having to constantly cook for him, but he's just happier, right? Bye. Oh, <laughs> he wants booty rubs. So yeah, price wise, it's about it's a little more expensive to be honest um so but like i said if you ever get a french bulldog knowing that they have all of these health conditions these food sensitivities you need to also be able to provide for them right like know that when you get a french bulldog you need to have the means to take care of them properly it's not just like, you know, a regular dog that they're okay with whatever you give them. Rocket or French Bulldogs are not like that. And so I understood that when I got him and I also wanted to make sure that he was healthy and good and I did the most that I could for him, which is making his food. So today we are going to make a batch of food typically I would make his food every week or at least every week and a half when I was in Montreal because I didn't have enough freezer space if I wanted to freeze some food now that we have moved here I have an extra fr uh, freezer where I basically pack up his food I got like a huge stock pot and I make his food there 
As far as food sensitivities, he doesn't take well to bananas or rice. The only time that he might throw up is if he's running around right after he eats and he'll like gag. But other than that, he is pretty good. I also want to say that unfortunately, we cannot fully trust vets. And I mean, and I, this is just my personal opinion. I'm sure there's vets out there that give the correct information, but there are also some vets out there that are sponsored by a lot of these major brand food companies. And so they will advertise the hell out of those brands. And a lot of those brands with, you know, selling kibbles, it's a lot of fillers and just not good food for them. Just... I mean, a lot, your dog might be okay with the cable, but mine wasn't. And I honestly, I mean, I knew from the beginning that I wanted some sort of type of food that was good for Rocket. And I knew that kibble wasn't the way to go, but I know that there's slightly better type of kibble, I guess you could say. So I was giving him, um, even like some of the home-baked kibbles were not okay for him. Like he was just not taking well to it. So, all right, so let's get into it. Let's make you some food. You want some food? Yeah? You want some food? Yummy, yummy. Or you want a snack? You want a little snack? Let's go get a little snack. Okay, this here is a licking mat. What I do is I put some peanut butter on here and then today I put some coconut oil here and some Greek ogre here and I put a couple of treats around. There are a lot of benefits to, <laughs> to licking mats and it's a great treat and it's a great snack and Rocket loves it. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm gonna meet you guys in the kitchen. I'm gonna get started with the food. So we're getting started with a couple of packs of vegetables. I typically get the basics like broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, green beans. This is some baby spinach and some meat. So in Montreal, one pack of this was all I could do now since i have the space i am doing two packs and this food will probably last me for almost a month about around that time so we're just gonna cook all of the meat in the stock pot for some sort of filler or starch i am making some mashed potatoes Usually I get the box potatoes, but sometimes they're hard to find without all of the seasonings. Be very careful with that. Um, most of them will have like onions and garlic and that is toxic for dogs. So this time I'm just going to make them from scratch. Just boil some potatoes and he loves it. Now that the meat is fully cooked, we are going to drain it. We don't want all of that extra fat in there. It is kind of like a messy process to drain this, but we get it done. Now we're going to cook down all of the vegetables. Usually I get them frozen, so um, sometimes I'll just throw them in a pot frozen or I'll try to like thaw them out in the morning so that they're ready for me to cook when I'm going to use it and it doesn't take me that much longer. I also drain the vegetables. I found that if there's any liquid in there, the food will start to kind of smell bad and it'll just go bad quicker so I drain everything and make sure there's you know no liquids in when I package it up here I'm just cutting the vegetables because Rocket will inhale these vegetables like he will swallow them whole so I try to make sure that no huge pieces are in there they do sound like the baby vegetables where it's smaller pieces and I do prefer those but sometimes I can't find it so I just have to kind of chop them up. 
I like to add some chickpeas or some black beans. Make sure you rinse them out because that whatever liquid it's it's preserved with is it's not good for the dog. So just make sure you rinse them out right, and then I just mix it in with the vegetables. Now I've been doing this for about four, three and a half years. I want to say I've been doing his food. So I've kind of worked out what works for Rocket. The suggested ratio, I try to do like 40% protein, 50% vegetable, and like about 10% starch. It all depends on your dog, the weight of your dog, and you know, their dietary needs. I did some research and I found out that too much meat or too much protein can actually be worse for your dog, at least for French Bulldog. And so I just do what works best for Rocket. I definitely recommend starting off with this. And if you find that your dog needs you to kind of change the amount, then you can alter it based on that. Now I didn't have enough vegetables. So what I'm doing here is packing all the meat that is extra. I'm going to freeze that for next time. And that's pretty much all of the prep work. These two bags, this will last me for about two weeks. And then I have the extra meat on the other one. I can probably make two more batches of that, which is like a month of food. I do about two spoonsfuls of mashed potatoes and some Greek unflavored yogurt for probiotics and some fruit. He loves blueberries. Sometimes we put some strawberries in there. And that's pretty much it. Look at this meal. This is literally a meal for kings. Like this guy eats better than we do. Like, come on. I also forgot to mention that we do give him a supplement. We've kind of changed it from time to time. What type of supplement we give him. Right now, this is a supplement that we're giving him, but you should definitely be adding some sort of added calcium to their diet or any other multivitamins that they're not getting from their food as most of the kibbles have these vitamins. And so a great supplement will definitely benefit your dog. And on behalf of Rocket and I, we thank you for watching today's video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Please let us know in the comments below if you have a French Bulldog, if you also do home meals, and what type of things do you like to put in your meals. I'm always looking for something new to add to his food, so if you guys do anything different, please let us know. I know I would appreciate it, and so will Rockets. See you guys next time.